हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी हुज फॉरेस्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव्स टू नो अबाउट सूर्य मनीष जर्नी टू नो अबाउट तोरंग सेंटर टू लर्न अबाउट मिजोरम एंड चिरो डांस टू नो अबाउट फॉरेस्ट एंड देयर इंपॉर्टेंस to understand tribal people and their culture look at the picture children where do you think these children are going off to with little bundles on their sticks when do you find out you too would want to go with them yes the children are going to the forest there they jump run climb trees and sing songs in their language called kudu they pick the fallen flowers and leaves to weave them into necklaces they enjoy the wild fruits they look for birds whose calls they imitate joining them in all this fun is their favorite didi suryamani Do you know children who is Suryamani She is known as daughter of the jungle Suryamani's story is a true story Suryamani is a girl star Girl stars is a project which tells extraordinary tales of ordinary girls who have changed their lives by going to school Suryamani loves the forest since she was a child. She would not take the direct road to the school but would choose the path through the forest. Suryamani's father had a small field. Her family used to collect leaves and herbs from the forest and sell these in the bazaar. Her mother would weave baskets from bamboo or make leaf plates out of the fallen leaves but now no one can pick up a single leaf from the forest what happened why the people were not able to pick up a single leaf from the forest children do you know that is since shambhu the contractor came there the people of suryamani's village were afraid of the contractor everyone except budhiya mai she would say we the people of this forest have a right over it now children suryamani's father could no longer support the family on the small land so he moved to the town in search of work but things did not improve sometimes there would be no food in the house at times maniya chacha suryamani's uncle would send some grains from his small shop to suryamani's house chacha tried hard and got admission for suryamani in school in bishanpur here they would not have to pay for the fees uniforms and books suryamani would have to stay there and study suryamani didn't want to leave her village and forest but maniya chacha was firm If you do not study what will you do go hungry Suryamani would argue why should i go hungry the jungle is there to help chacha tried to explain we are being moved away from our forests even the forests are disappearing in their place mines are being dug dams are being built believe me it is important for you to study to understand about the laws 
maybe then you can help to save our forests young suryamani listened and tried to understand some of what he said suryamani was filled with joy on seeing the school at bishanpur why she be- she became so happy children because the school was near a thick forest and she loved forest suryamani studied hard and passed her ba after getting a scholarship she was the first girl in the village to do this while she was in college she met vasavi didi a journalist suryamani joined her to work for the jharkhand jangal bachao andolan means movement to save the forests of jharkhand this work took suryamani to far off towns and cities her father did not like this but suryamani continued her work not only that she also started to fight for the rights of the village people her childhood friend bijoy helped her in this work suryamani had another friend do you know what was its name its name was mirchi who stayed with her day and night suryamani would share all her thoughts and dreams with mirchi mirchi would listen and say wing now children do you come to know who is mirchi mirchi is a parrot suryamani had a dream for our koduk community she wanted all her people to feel proud of being adivasis now children let's know something about suryamani's tora suryamani was 21 when she opened a center with the help of vasavi didi and others she called it torang which means jungle in the koduk language suryamani wanted that on festivals people should sing their own songs they should not forget their music and should enjoy wearing their traditional clothes children should also learn about herbs medicines and the art of making things from bamboo children should learn the language of school but must link it with their own language all this happens in the torang center many special books about the koduk community and other adivasis have been collected flutes and different types of drums are also kept there whenever something is unfair or if someone is afraid about his land and livelihood would be taken away they turn to suryamani suryamani fights for everyone's right suryamani and bijoy got married and now work together their work is praised by all she is invited to other countries as well now let's talk about right to forest act 2007 people who have been living in the forest for at least 25 years have a right over the forest land and what is grown on it they should not be removed from the forest the work of protecting the forest should be done by their gram sabha now children look at the picture this is a picture of india here indian map is shown so here the portion is shown by dark green and light green color are the areas where forests are found if we talk about north of india here some part of jammu kashmir himachal pradesh and uttarakhand we find forests and 
when we come to northeastern states in sikkim arunachal pradesh nagaland manipur tripura meghalaya sikkim there are thick forest as well as less thick forest after that come to the next here odisha jharkhand madhya pradesh andhra pradesh also have some parts of forest now in this chapter we are talking about jharkhand's forest area then some parts of kerala maharashtra and gujarat we find forests so the area which is shown by dark green color are very thick forest and the portion which is shown by light green for uh, light green color are less thick forest now children after jharkhand forest let us talk about mizoram how farming is done in mizoram you can see the picture children here map of india is shown in the north eastern side the portion which is shown by red color is mizoram so let us know how farming is done in mizoram lottery for farming in mizoram ding 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 as soon as the school bell rang lomtea dingi dingima picked their bags and hurried home on the way they stopped to drink water from a stream in a cup made of bamboo which was kept there today not only the children even saima sir was in hurry to get back today there would be a special meeting of the village council known as panchayat children do you know the meaning of panchayat team of five members who looks after the welfare of village is known as panchayat at the meeting there would be a lottery to decide which family will get how much land for farming the land belongs to the whole village not to the separate people so they take turns to do farming on different parts of the land a beautiful pot made of bamboo was shaken well one chit was taken out saima sir's family got the first chance but he said i am happy that my family gets to choose first but this year we cannot take more land last year i had taken more and was not able to farm it well after my sister jhiri got married and went away it is difficult to manage farming alone saima sir asked for 3 tin of land do you know children what is 3 tin of land the land on which we grow 1 tin of seeds is called 1 tin of land one by one the village families got their piece of land for farming so in this way through lottery system farming is done in mizoram now children you came to know about lottery system of mizoram how the villages get land for farming now let's know about jhum farming in mizoram jhum farming is done after getting the land jhum farming is very interesting after cutting one crop the land is left as it is for some years nothing is grown there 
the bamboo or weeds which grow on that land are not pulled out they are cut and burnt the ash makes the land fertile while burning care is taken so that the fire does not spread to the other parts of the forest when the land is ready for farming it is lightly dug up not plowed seeds are dropped on it in one farm different types of crops like maize vegetables chilies rice can be grown weeds and other unwanted plants are also not pulled out they are just cut so that they get mixed with the soil this also helps in making the soil fertile if some family is not able to do farming on the time others help them and are given food the main crop here is rice after it is cut it is difficult to take it home there are no roads only hilly paths do you know children mizoram is a hilly area that is why it is very difficult to take all the crops home people have to carry the crop on their backs this takes many weeks when the work is over the entire village celebrates people get together to cook and eat sing and dance they do their special chiro dance in chiro dance people sit in pairs in front of each other holding bamboo sticks on the ground as you can see in the picture children and as the drum beats the bamboo are beaten on the ground dancers steps in and out of the bamboo sticks and dance to the beat about 3 fourth people in mizoram are linked to the forest life is very difficult here but almost all children go to school so children this was all about the chapter whose forest in this chapter you come to know about the life history of suryamani and also come to know how farming is done in mizoram i hope now the chapter is clear to you bye bye